yeah, like I'm going to rehab. App. Like they're like, when when can you come on? I'm like, as soon as possible. I know. I yeah. Go to rehab soon. <laughs> you threw that 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 text casually. You like, subscribe to the podcast, KFC Radio on YouTube. Bang. All right, let's do uh, it. The rude one, rude Jew, Jude Angelini, back on KFC Radio. It's been a little while. Been a while, while. Yeah. How you doing, man? And uh, yeah, it's been a few few years. Right. Wow. I guess it's been a while for everybody so, in, across the world. Yeah. But but yeah, man, you were uh, you you you're one of our OG day one type guys. So I'm happy to have you back on. How you been? I've been all right. I moved back to Michigan, which was uh, I don't know if that was good or bad. Was like, that a pandemic thing cold. or what? Yeah, I was going nuts in L.A., and uh, I thought it'd be a little bit better in Michigan, and I got out here, and it was just as bad. Yeah, like, I don't know if that was the move, dude. I don't know if Detroit fixes yeah. the problems. You know? Yeah, you were, you, were, you were not feeling good in L.A. and decided that Detroit— I thought it'd be more is, open. Is it cure uh, for more, uh, just, more open, that makes sense. Yeah. That, that's, that's a I, different I thought it. Yeah. I thought it'd be more open. They're like, no, we're going to be less open, so <laughs> go to— go, Go to your room and do ketamine a bunch. So that's what I did. <laughs> well, that is usually uh, your go-to, right, bro? When all else fails. Yeah. When, yeah. When in doubt, K hole. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've I've long said that. That's been my stance for a while. Like, if I don't have to fucking be here, why am I gonna be here right now? There's no point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if I got no, if I got something to do, I'm in. I'm in. All right. If I got nothing to do, I'm gonna check it. out. Yep. <laughs> I hear that. Uh, it's- I know. And in that in that time, you you popped out this book, or what? Is this is this been in the works for a while? Yeah, you've been. How many books well, you got now? It was three. three. This is the third three. in the trilogy. I yeah. think you hyena, become prolific. I think third hits the peak. Yeah, you're a prolific author yeah. now. It's it's hyena, hummingbird, and Finn. Yep. Yeah, that's it. One, two, three. I ain't, and then Finn, like a shark fin cut through the water, and then Finn, like done with this little series. I was gonna say, so. is that it? You think you're riding off in the sunset? No more books. No, I'll, I'll write more, but right. uh, I just don't know what I'm gonna write. Right? Is this you know? same sort of idea, like uh, memoir type shit? Just you and your crazy ass life? It's all. It's it's yeah. It's just yeah. yeah it's, people are like reading it. Like, how did that? Not, how did these stories not make it into the other books? Right. Like, I don't know. That's was well. I, I, I this happens a lot with him, where you know we're on our tenth year of this podcast, and sometimes he'll tell me a story, and I'm like, how the fuck is that just coming up now? Like we've, we've we've talked about this t- even this same topic a thousand times, and you you still didn't tell me the story. Like what? And he's like, I don't know. It just you know it was somewhere in my brain, and it came out this time. So like, how many stories do you think you got in there, dude? <laughs> well, I can't remember my twenties. So once I get the, <laughs> if I if I can get my if I can get my twenties back, fucking I, I got a gang of books. Yo, that's a fucking hilarious <laughs> thought. You got to find like a, 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 a ayahuasca Sherpa type somebody to unlock that shit for you. And all of a sudden you're going to have 10 more books. Yeah, straight up. No, no joke. Yeah, there was, a, there was like a couple. There's a couple uh, stories I told from my like late, late teens, early 20s. But for the most part, it's now. You're yeah. also at the spot, too, though. If you wrote a book, if you told me that you tapped into some shit. And, f- and and found those memories, but you were just straight up making them up. I would still like. Y- y- there's not a story you could tell that I would be like, nah, he's making that up because all. I mean, you you got the wildest fucking stories in the world. I believe anything. Wild stories are harder to make up. Right. That, yeah, like it's, it's, yeah. it's like impossible to make up those kind of stories. Right. That's that's something why I've dealt with a, a handful of times where it's like, dude, I couldn't fucking make that up. Uh, you have to be like there's, Oscar. I need. Screenwriter I need to remember it. Yeah. Where were you most of your twenties? Uh, Los Angeles. You were in LA then, too. LA. Yeah, yeah. I moved. I moved like right before nine eleven. Like, I, I was born in seventy seven. I moved out there when I was like twenty four. I love so. using nine eleven as a marker. <laughs> <laughs> just for like, yeah, just that, for non the world like, changed around nine eleven. So much shit done. Yeah. Uh, so I saw you on your your uh, Instagram the other day, looking all banged up. You had a like a sleepwalking incident. Yeah, you can still see that shit. Yeah, yeah. it looks up. a little better, but man, what happened? Yeah, fucking, I've been trying. Like, uh, my pot passed. Oh a shit! Bunch Sorry, of, yeah, bunch of stress, a bunch of stressful shit has been going on in my life that I haven't been able to process properly, mm-hmm. and uh, it's turned into like really bad insomnia. And uh, 
basically like the concoction that I got to put together just to fucking go to sleep is so fucking crazy mm-hmm. that if you do anything off, like I start sleepwalking and like Shit I'm going is no joke. Windows. Yeah, like I'm going to rehab app. Like they're like when. When can you come on? I'm like, as soon as possible. I know, I yeah. Rehab soon. <laughs> you threw that 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 text casually. You you know, I, I got a new book out. Can I come on? I said, yeah. Uh, I was like, well, we'll hit you up like on email. He's like, sooner the better. I got to check into rehab. Like, <laughs> this, like you were, you know, uh, sooner the better. I got to go to the grocery store, dude. <laughs> well, it, yeah, and it's not even like I'm going to rehab because I was doing shit that was fun. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, it yeah. wasn't like for fun drugs. Like, I've kicked fun drugs. Now I got to like... <laughs> kick some shit so i can sleep so i need medical attention yo if i if i don't get like one night of sleep like if i if i have like just back-to-back nights where i'm struggling to sleep i start to spiral yeah. man i'm like this sucks i'm gonna be tired what's wrong with me i'm starting to think of all yeah. of my fucking worst nighttime is the worst shit in the world once you're an adult at least for me like i, I if i wake up in the middle of the night my mind is racing. I am thinking about the worst of the worst all the fucking time. I'm reaching for Benadryl, fucking whatever I can to get back to sleep. I yeah. That, that they don't tell you that when you're a kid. They don't tell you that just like sleeping is gonna be a motherfucker when you're older. I know it's funny. My pops had the same shit, and I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't get it. Like, mm-hmm. did not understand it, and then it, here I am, fucking waking up once an hour, like. Uh. Dude, I, I, I wake up and eat candy. Like, I did it last, <laughs> yo, last night. Last night I woke up and ate fucking. Uh, this is crazy. It's like three o'clock in the morning. I woke up and I was hammering. I've been eating these these lint chocolates that are infused with chili. They're really good. Little kick to the end of the chocolates. Nice. Mm-hmm. And I fucking zip. I was hammering that, and I'd also bite a strawberry. And I was just, but the strawberries were so cold that it was sensitive on my teeth. And you're doing this in bed? So I was gnashing. No, no, I was standing in the fridge. Oh, okay, not uh, And I was just gnashing, gnashing <laughs> those. But that was, that, that's where my sleep helmets come in. I eat too much candy when, I, when I'm asleep. <laughs> you're a fucking goddamn toddler. It's insanity. But the strawberries were so cold that my teeth were too sensitive. Oh, so I was, mom, 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 I was going mom, like mom. this. I was just pushing them against the roof of my mouth. To, With your tongue? Yeah, uh, to disgusting. crush it because it was too sensitive. <laughs> You really are a fucking child, man. Uh, so you can't make that, like you said, you can't make that, that shit up. up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If someone tells you that chili the, chocolates, yeah, chili, and chili chili chocolates while I smush strawberries to the roof of my mouth, yeah, just pressing them. Uh, really hard. Fucking gross, man. Uh, was 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 this book um, like easy? Because you know, like you know, on the on the third go round, is it the same sort yeah, of process it, or what? Yeah, it's like I figured out my voice. You know yeah. what I mean, like. Like uh, I sat down, I knocked it out. And- I love that you do it yourself. So many people, you know, I wrote a book. No, you didn't. I I put a book out. Well, you know, you put your name on the cover, but somebody else wrote it, or somebody else is, you know, putting it all together or whatever. I love that, like you are, you know, instrumental in it. Yeah, it's like if it's my voice, it's gonna be my fucking voice. Mm-hmm. Like, like you. You you all are known for your voice. What the fuck would it look like right. if you had somebody ghostwrite your shit? You yeah. talk for it. Fuck yeah, it. I pretty much think if you can if you can have a ghostwriter, that means you probably shouldn't be writing a book. You know what I mean? <laughs> if I can read a book and not tell whether it's your voice or a ghostwriter's voice, that means you're you're not worthy of really writing a book. That's true. <laughs> it's like you should have your own shit. Straight you know. The fuck up. Did you? Is oh, this yeah. like a? Is this written about a certain period? Is, like like is this? Were they in, in, in chronological order, or is this still kind of bouncing around with the stories? It bounces. To me, it's in a certain order, but, yeah. like, uh, it does bounce around, and I do really touch – I touch on fucking the lockdown shit mm-hmm. and kind of how people – just how everybody was going nuts and uh, the lockdown shit, teenage years. I don't I – don't, family shit. I, I, I'm – the, the book is kind of anti-woke. I'm like mm-hmm. against the whole fucking woke agenda bullshit. Yeah, I'd imagine then, that uh, doesn't really jive with your, your style. <laughs> they don't like me already, so... Like, <laughs> yeah, you've, you've been going through this before this was even a fucking, <laughs> fucking thing, yeah. man. Yeah. Before yeah, before they had a name for the right. fucking shit, they've been not fucking with me. That's so what's funny. Just, so yeah. you know, all the shit going on with with Rogan right now is like the exact same playbook they've been throwing at Barstool, specifically Portnoy. But all of us here have gotten that, and 
and everybody, it's, you know, headline news and there's terms and, and vocabulary and buzzwords around it. And it's like, yeah, man, we were going through this when it wasn't even a thing to go through. It was just, it was just This was just every right. fucking day for us. It's like, welcome to our life. Yeah. It's the smear campaign. That's all that shit is. Right. Just fucking smear campaign. But the thing is, is like, the good thing is, is you guys were big enough to be smearable. Like my shit, like they just ignore you. You know, <laughs> like they're like, oh, Bro, but Ju- I'm telling Ju- you, who? being in that level is is like within Barstool, we're in the level where they ignore us, and I'm happy to be there, dude. I don't want, I don't want all that drama because it doesn't, you don't, you don't win or lose. It just is a headache, you know. It's just stressful. Yeah. So I'd rather just be more left shit alone. To, more shit to think about when you're sleeping. Exactly, when you exactly that, man. Uh, what, uh, where are we at on ch- any of these, uh, get an option to be a, a show or a movie? I know we, that was like kind of on the table at one point. I feel like these have got to come to life, whether it's animated or whatever, you know? Unfortunately, right now, they're not looking to, they're, they're really not looking for unknown white dudes. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> that, that don't suck dick, you know? So, like, uh, what are you going to do? Okay. Well, suck dick. <laughs> yeah. How about you just start blowing dudes? I don't know. I, I we've said all the time. I'm like, um, uh, if if, yeah. if if you can, if you're telling me I'm gonna get like a you know 100 million dollars Spotify bag, all right, I'll just fucking do it. I told people I was bisexual. Yeah, uh, but it didn't make a difference. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you gotta like, you gotta walk the walk. I feel like you can't just say it. What did it freeze on me saying I was bisexual? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you said yeah, you said you were bisexual, but it didn't work. Yeah. Yeah, there were, yeah, there it is. So it's not from a lack of trying. I just tried to they them shit. Like I'm a they them. They're like nah. You know, <laughs> when uh, what's the what's the deal with rehab? Are you like is this is it nerve wracking to be on the verge of it? Are you happy to to be getting some help or what? Um, it's a little bit of everything, man. Like every night, like. Every single night I'm going through like withdrawals and shit like that when, when I'm not on. Uh, yeah, so it's like That's I'm dealing nightmare. with the shit every, every night until I go to sleep. Uh, I can't even hold like my hands, like my hands tremble and shit right now. Like it's fucking like it's full blown. Like it Yikes. is fucking full blown. I wasn't sure what we were going to uh, get when you said you were on the verge of rehab. I was like, this interview might be off the fucking rails. He might be going crazy. It seems like you're actually pretty calm. Yeah, it's just, I, honestly, I'm just going there for I kept going to uh, sleep doctors for medical help and they weren't helping me. I wasn't getting any help. So mm-hmm. I end up having to like come up with my own solution. I got sleep, but it fucking was the wrong way to do it. Yeah. Uh, but like, what was I going to do? Like I was months and I was going months and months with, with like waking up once an hour or it's, not even getting down. Insane, shit like that. That's not sustainable. You can't, are, are you still on, on uh, shade and everything on, on serious? Yeah, yeah, and I'm doing the daily show. Right, I mean, regardless. that's impossible. You know, so, <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking bananas. Yeah, so it's just been, it's been a, it's been a crazy year, a crazy couple of years. Uh, I tried to settle down with the girl and um, started going, going, having sex with her with no rubber, and our pH was off. Oh no! And she got that. Va- she got vaginitis. Oh no! And then, um, I ate her out and. I got vaginitis in my throat. And no, that's some Michael Douglas shit. What's what? What, what is, happens what, with what like vaginitis entail? in your throat? It's like laryngitis. It's like it's basically like uh, bacterial laryngitis, and like you need antibiotics for it. And everybody kept saying I had COVID, and I'm like, it's not COVID. I've already had COVID. This doesn't feel like it. This is so like it's going forever. Finally, I find some antibiotics. I take them. It clears it up. And I don't even think I'm not even thinking about the girl. Yeah. And um, I'm like, okay, cleared up, sweet. And uh, and that this was after a few weeks of me not being able to talk. Uh, a few weeks. Hook, hook back up with the uh, hook back up with the girl. The shit kicks in within a week, and I wake up and like my mouth is tasting like her pussy, and I'm like, what, <laughs> what the fuck is this? That, like, that's I was like, Jesus uh, Christ. like yeah w- was it was it not obvious that something was going on down there it wasn't it wasn't fishy it just smelled like burnt rubber or some shit <laughs> like that like <laughs> like a, like a burnout like <laughs> 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 
So, so, so did like, you have to go tell her, like, I, I put the puzzle piece together, babe. You, you got to fix your pussy. Well, I, yeah, we had stopped talking by then, and I, okay. I, uh, I went in. My mom, God bless her, she had to go online to one of those online doctors and say she had vaginitis and get get prescription pills for the shit. Oh, took them. see. That's the love of a mother, yeah. man. Your mom is always ride or die for you. Like, I'll go say yeah. my pussy's fucked up my, for my son. Vaginitis, yep, dude. Nope. That's kind of sick to be yeah. a guy who got vaginitis. <laughs> that's like... Yeah, there you go. Right? I, I guess, guess so. Yeah. I think, that's I, fucking, I think I'll pass on that one, but yeah, I nah, guess... I'll, I'll, I'll take vaginitis right now just so I can tell people I have vaginitis. I got pussy throat, man. <laughs> What's the worst Yo, that's you almost like Pussy mouth. You can put that shit on Tinder. Like, I got vaginitis in my throat. Just... Just so yeah, you know. Just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> I've been hey, treated. Does that answer any questions? <laughs> I got vaginitis in my fucking throat. <laughs> yeah. I eat pussy. I eat it so first. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I eat it all. <laughs> but, oh, oh, the crazy shit was, was it, it, it went on so long off and on, like with me figuring shit out that uh, my, um, my vocal cord par was paralyzed. Half of my vocal cord was paralyzed, and I've been like learning how to re-talk again. Like, this bro, is, for someone in your job, that's a fucking problem, man. Yeah, like today is a pretty decent day. Yeah, I was gonna say you, you don't I, sound I, I any have, different to me right now, but I'm sure it kind of no, comes and goes. Yeah, yep, totally comes and goes. Is it like day. a, uh, uh, um, like your depth changes, or like you can't talk? Like, what? How does it affect you? Because when you talk for a living, that's a problem. You just got to clear your throat all the but time. Yeah. You're, you're not supposed to clear your throat the way you clear your throat. You're supposed to do like a hard swallow, which sounds gay as shit. <laughs> I got to do a fucking hard. I, I got pussy. Hard I got pussyitis too. and I got to do a hard swallow. <laughs> your throat has been yeah, going so through you, it, dude. So you basically like take a drink. Yeah. <laughs> And that's some cartoon that's the hard, right there. <laughs> that's go, the hard go. swallow. <laughs> like I don't even know if it fucking does anything, but yeah, that's it. What's uh, what's going on in Sirius these days? I feel like what you you've probably been there for what 20, 20 years now. Six. It's it's uh sixteen years. 16. It'll be seventeen years. Yeah. Same like same old, just all out show and like doing. What I'm you just do. trying to get a watch or yeah. whatever they give you. <laughs> right, years. right. We're on. This is our watch. tenth year, and I'm like, I'm thinking about people though who you know other other uh, radio hosts and shows and shit that you that I've listened to that are like 25 years together, 30 years. I'm like, we t we've been doing it a long time at 10. Imagine yeah. doing this two and a half or three more times. It's <laughs> a lot of fucking years of the same shit. I know, dude. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, it's, it's, and the the since since COVID, they cut our staff in half. So it's uh, just like we're we're running on a skeleton crew. Yeah, like right here on my couch. That's where I'm doing this shit from. Right, like all, all the fucking time. Like, what? When did SiriusXM really like start? I feel like between you know, like probably you and obviously like Howard and shit. Like he's got to be one yeah, of the longest like, tenured people there, right? Yeah. Yep. Probably early two yeah, thousands was when that like popped off. Yeah, two thousand four. Right. Two thousand four is when I jumped in. And they were a couple years they had started a couple years before that. But I got in right around Howard. That was a selling point. Has there been any uh The selling point to me was I didn't have a fucking job, so I was like, <laughs> Yeah, I'll take it. Uh any anything else popping off there? Like I feel like it's uh I don't. I don't know what's happening at Sirius anymore since so we don't have our deal with them. So I don't know, like, if there's new shows, new people. What's going on with Howard? Is it well, just yeah? But if I, you're working from home, know. you wouldn't know either, right? Yeah. yeah, dude, we're so isolated, man. I don't know what the fuck is going on, and it's like I'm not going to New York no time soon. Like, I don't want like y'all got to have passports for everything and shit like that. Like, it's not like well, yeah, I guess you do got to get the vaccine to get into most of the big shit. But dude, I like it better. So I've been fucking, I've been traveling, and like it's almost annoying where because because here you don't have to wear masks, so everywhere we go they don't check anything, but they yell at you all the time. I was in like I was skiing in Vermont, I was out in Vegas, people just yelled at me at the casino floor the whole time. Like, put your mask on, put your mask on. It's like why, why don't you just check my vaccine? Rather when I came show in the vaccine and yeah, so the I have to keep my goddamn mask annoying. on. Michigan, we just don't wear masks. 
Yeah, yeah, you guys don't give a yeah. fuck, huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was just running my mouth about COVID like a motherfucker a couple weeks ago, being like, "This, I mean, it's over, it's done, shut the fuck up about it. And then I caught it, and it just beat the shit out of me. I got like, I got it. Yeah, I got but you're it not bad. dead. No, I'm not dead. That's true. That's it is. Right, there you go. It's one of those. It like, went from know, like, it went from don't die to don't get it. Like, yeah, it yeah, like, that is true. It could, they it could shifted have been way that worse. shit real quick. But like, I was like fucking, the last motherfucker. Everybody else who's getting it now is like, oh, I got the sniffles for a night, and I still, I had the old school shit where I was like, of course, me when this shit is done, yep. I'm still getting fucked up. Classic. You had that throwback COVID. Yeah, shit. That, that, like, <laughs> I, I compared it to school. Four Loco when Four Loco was, you know, that real yeah. shit. I, I had the OG mm-hmm. one, none of that that new shit. Whereas for the pussies, I had the real one. So yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, man. Yeah. So the book though is out. Uh, what is is you know wherever it's out right now. Yeah, yeah. It's called it's called Finn. I I did it myself. You can only get it on Amazon. You've always uh, been doing that self publishing shit, right? You never went through. Well, I, I no the last the last two books I went through. Pu- I self the last two books. Uh, I went with a small publisher. I went with a large publisher on one and a small publisher on the other. Other, mm-hmm. and be with either one of them. So I'm just like fuck it. I do most of my sales through Amazon. I'll just fucking be in control and go through Amazon. Absolutely, it's the easiest like way to do it, it too. Like that's where everybody's gonna get their shit anyway. So might as well cut out the middleman and just get that money. Straight the fuck up, yeah. Straight the fuck up. The hardest, the hardest thing is to uh, set up the uh, book signings. You still doing those? Yeah. I mean, once I get out of rehab, I'll <laughs> fucking look into it. Like, <laughs> well, man, the 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 books. I remember the first time when I when I first read uh, Hummingbird, or which uh, hyena was first, right? I think so. Yeah, hyena was yeah, like hyena's first. that was like. I mean, I, I was at a point in time where I wasn't reading any books. Like I would never really think about picking up a book, but I remember reading Hyena and being like, "This is the exact type of book that you can just like burn through, rip through. Funny stories. It's kind of like if you listen to podcasts or you read blogs and you know like the the hosts and the storytelling. It's all of that like in in book form. So uh, I, I encourage if you if you haven't gotten any of them, I would go get the whole trilogy, but certainly get down with Finn, which is the new one. So go check it out on Amazon uh, and uh, All Out Show right on all on social and all that. Yeah, uh, uh, one more Jude. One more Jude. At one more Jude. Yep, that's me. All right, bro. I appreciate yep, it. Good luck in uh, rehab, yeah. dude. I'm gonna have fun there with me and the heroin addicts. They're like, what, what's your problem? <laughs> Benzos. <laughs> Get some sleep, dog. You need it. All right. Later, all right, man. Peace. Have a good one. Well. We're at 94,000 subscribers on KFC Radio, the YouTube channel. I need to have it hit six figures. I need 100,000 for 2022. Let's make it happen. When we hit 100K, we'll give you all sorts of content. We're going to deliver on everything we've been promising. So please just subscribe. All you got to do is log in with your Gmail. Click subscribe. Whether or not you actually even use YouTube doesn't fucking matter. All it does is help us. So take your Gmail, log in, click subscribe, and help us out.